Here's a quick story on the Moulin Rouge that was based out of Hollywood, California. Frank Senes opened it up. This is a, sort of a little brochure that they had there. You were able to eat a meal and have a show for about $5, I believe. I'm going to show you some of these unseen items. This scrapbook came from a lady by the name of uh, Shirley Falls. She worked there. So here's some pictures. Uh, again, Frank Senes, he's the guy who opened it up. He, uh, he opened it up on Christmas Day of 1953. Now, he turned the old Earl Carroll Theater into the Moulin Rouge on Sunset and Vine. This was on Christmas Day of 1953. A lot of big stars worked in there. Uh, Frank Senes was born in Ohio, but he moved out west. He became Howard Hughes's entertainment director. There's a picture of him. Everybody liked him. He had a big smile on his face all the time. Well known in the entertainment uh, industry. When he opened up the Moulin Rouge in 1953, it was the largest nightclub theater restaurant in the world at the time. It was open for seven years. It had headliners like Peggy Lee, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and many, many more. Talk about Frankie. Uh, the scrapbook that I'm, uh, I found this stuff in. Again, her name was Shirley Falls. That was Frank Sinatra's girlfriend way back when. So as we breeze through this scrapbook, you'll notice that people sign their names and say, Hello, Shirley. This lady, this is pretty, uh, is that a twin or uh, one lady? I don't know. There's some pretty dancers there. Betty Grable got her start at this place. Um, and uh, a lot of, they all signed their names. Shirley, I hope you're doing fine. Shirley Falls, a beautiful young lady. She got some fame because she was Frank Sinatra's girlfriend. I'll uh, show you a paper clipping at the end. Frank Sinatra got himself in a little bit of trouble and he had to go to court. And they called in Shirley Falls. And again, she was like a pretty model actress and, uh, you know, spiced up the trial a little bit. So this is sort of historical stuff I'm showing you. I'm just going to document these names. These are people like the maitre d' here. Is he the maitre d'? Uh, I think so. And, um, again, you got a meal for $5 there. And this little pamphlet shows you all the people who worked there and ran the place. And, again, it is a historical document. Uh, sadly, with Vegas growing in popularity uh, back then, uh, in 1960, they had to shut down. So there's a general manager, and the director was Don Arden. He's well-known, a director. Uh, a lot of these guys um, ended up going to Vegas. Like I said, Vegas started getting growing in popularity, and they had to shut the Moulin Rouge down in 1960. Now, this scrapbook that I'm looking at right now, it is amazing. Really, you would not believe how many photographs, signed photographs from Hollywood movie stars are in it. We're just scratching the surface here. Uh, again, her name was Shirley Falls. This was her. She put this scrapbook together her entire life. Now, here's that clipping I promised to show you. Uh, Frank Sinatra got into some sort of trouble. He was at the wrong. He said he was at the wrong door and something. And there's Shirley on the left. That she, they hauled her in. Uh, I, I really don't know the whole story there, but uh, Shirley smiled for the cameras and she went into the uh, courtroom. It was in all the papers. Now, here she is when she worked. This is, I believe, on uh, 4th of July. I'm not positive. Uh, but this is at the Moulin Rouge. And uh, she's with a monkey and an elephant. And Now, I'm going to go ahead and do a video on the entire scrapbook. It's going to be amazing. You want to go to my other channel. It won't probably won't be up for another two or three, maybe, maybe another week. Check back next week on the Bravo Alternative Media channel. I'm going to have a video of the entire scrapbook on that channel. Check back in a week. Shirley Falls, she must have met everybody and knew everybody. Again, being Frank Sinatra's girlfriend, imagine the people she would have met. 
In this scrapbook is a picture of Elvis Presley and Anne Margaret. I'll show you that in a moment. I've never seen this particular picture before. It could be an unseen Elvis Presley picture. Here it is. Elvis with Anne Margaret. Too bad they didn't get hooked up and get married because I think Anne Margaret would have been better for Elvis Presley, don't you think? Okay, that's a whole different story. I'll see you in a little bit.